So now in this video, I thought we would replace these uh, breadboard jumpers here with uh, wires that I uh, cut and stripped myself. So I got uh, this from an old Radio Shack kit, electronics kit, and uh, I like uh, this cutter and stripper. So there's a blade in there to cut wire, and this automatically strips the wire. So now I'm guessing we're going to want about that amount of wire. If we go a little too long, that is okay. And uh, that's it for cutting it. Just got to uh, squeeze it. And then we'll take the red one there. Try to get about the same amount of wire. If we go a little too long, again, it's okay. We can just curve it. And now I'll uh, straighten them a bit. I already straightened that one. And we have the stripping tool, so it's pretty easy. Even when I have it forward all the way, that's usually uh, quite a bit more insulation off than I need. So I'm gonna go back. Uh, I don't think I'll go back that far. There we go. And uh, you know, relatively close to halfway. I should remove that plastic, but I think we'll be fine right there. And then same thing with the black one. Pretty straightforward. All you gotta do for this tool, Set it in between the groove there, and then the distance from the tongue you want. And uh, the tool does the rest when you squeeze it. Pretty nice. On the back, we have this uh, little part here. Somebody asked me what that was for, and then when I explained it so you can lock it in place there, they got mad that I didn't uh, show that in the video. So I'm going to make sure I show it in the video from now on. And now it looks like I did a pretty good job getting them about the same length. We're going to replace uh, those there. I'll turn it this way. And I have a, a needle nose plier here to bend the wire, but you can probably just bend it with your finger. Why not even put it in the board and then bend it? I don't think it will really matter. And uh, we'll just bend a quick already to that side, huh? And now, when we put in the breadboard. So I think the red one might be a speck longer. So we're gonna go with the uh, black one first. I thought we had more holes in that. Um, so we're gonna move this jumper. This jumper is for me to clip to a 12 volt uh, battery. Put that off to the side. And uh, so we gotta be careful. This is intended for, uh, yeah, let's go up to the top. This is intended for being plugged into a 12 volt life pole battery. And it didn't really grip right there, so. Um, make sure I go, oh, I went positive. Make sure I go negative to negative. Make uh, sure I'm very careful with that. And then the uh, red one. So we are a little bit long, it's curved, but that's okay. Curve will be fine. Higher quality board would be gripping these wires uh, better. So keep that in mind. If you wanna go cheap, they won't connect as good. But uh, you can replace the board when you get problems and stuff. Uh, they're kind of cheap, but a high quality board will last a long time. And uh, there we go, double check, positive, positive, negative, negative, again, we're gonna put it to a battery that can provide high power. So if I uh, mess that up, we have a short circuit. Uh, probably gonna damage the board, maybe even the battery. And now we got my two seven amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. They provide 12 volts. There's four uh, lithium iron phosphate LiPo or LFP, however you wanna call it, uh, cells. So this is my red one again. Wanna make sure I go to the positive there. Good time to double check that that jumper is plugged in right too. And the uh, black one's already to the black one there. The reason why I have black to the left is because as you can see, when it comes to the battery, the uh, black terminal is to the left. And uh, now we're just gonna make sure everything is uh, wired good. I have my test circuit and uh, so red LED is lit right now. Um, it's gonna go back to low, this particular circuit right there. When we first apply power, it, it's kind of iffy what uh, it might be. But now it's gonna stay uh, blue right there. I'll put low until we press the button, get a good press of the button. So yeah, it looks like we got uh, an okay connection right there. These cheap boards, they don't always connect terribly well. So it's good to uh, test out um, that you got good connections.